I'm Evan Nelson, VP of Customer Experience here at Cognizant, and today we're going to be talking about how to leverage Cognizant for your retention and growth teams. One of the interesting statistics that I read about quite often is the difference in cost between bringing a new customer in and retaining and maximizing revenue for an existing customer. On average, it's about two to five times more expensive for every new customer that comes in the door. And what this really means is that you should be focusing on strategies that are really centered around maximizing existing revenue and relationships uh, for customers that are already signed and committed to uh, your services and products. One of the really interesting things that I find at Cognizant is customers typically think about us as a tool to arm their sales teams, right? New business teams, SDRs, but they're really sitting on a gold mine of data that can be repurposed uh, with very simple workflows that allow you to do things like prevent churn, identify new business opportunities within existing customer accounts, and multi-thread to strengthen relationships. So over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna actually walk you through a very simple workflow that can do all three, right? We're gonna focus on how to find new contacts at existing accounts for the purposes of retention and growth. So all of you have probably logged into the Cognizant Prospector app and poked around and played around with uh, our search filters and functionality. What you might not know, though, is you can very easily upload a list of your target accounts, so those are the accounts that you're assigned uh, or that you manage, and really just filter and narrow down all of the contacts in our database that are specific to those accounts. You can do this in two ways. Number one, like I said, you can upload a CSV. We recommend using URL or website as the primary data point because it has a higher match rate because it's a unique identifier. If you have our Salesforce Sync active, you can also use the filters within uh, Prospector to just identify the specific accounts that you directly manage through ownership in Salesforce. Now, once you've done this, you're opening up a whole potential of new contacts at your disposal that can be actioned uh, and brought into your, your go-to-market best practices. So let's look at a, a quick example uh, that I've actually seen uh, deployed on my team, and that's customers that go dark on us, right? There's nothing worse for an account manager or a customer success manager reach out to your contact that you've been working with and they're unresponsive. So by simply using that workflow that I just suggested, I pull up my list of accounts and now I'm going to start digging into contacts that are related to my main point of contact. So let's say maybe their boss or someone that works closely with them. And I can do this in a number of different ways. I could look at job function, I could look at departments. In this example, we're going to actually just look at folks with similar titles. I had a CSM on my team about a year ago that had a large account and none of the contacts in our CRM were responsive. So they were emailing all of them. And you know, cheekily, I just sent a link to the company profile and I said, call the C-suite. Now what happened was uh, this CSM actually dialed through the executive suite at this company and actually booked two meetings with their CFO and their CEO, which allowed us to then regain traction with that account and actually retain it. So it's a really powerful concept to think about if you have a customer that's gone dark, but what if you want to find new opportunities with existing customers that you have a decent relationship with? This is where Cognizant can be used for things like multi-threading. So as an example, pull up your list of accounts, and let's say I want to find new contacts to actually start engaging with for the purposes of building pipeline. Very simple, I find those departments that I care about. So let's say uh, I'm going to be selling into a marketing department, and then I'm going to identify specific marketing contacts that, are, that, that fit loosely or very specifically my ICP. From this point forward, I've identified my key contacts here, these directors of marketing, and what I'm gonna do is actually take them out of Cognizant, back into my CRM for the purposes of cold calling and email. So I, with this motion, and if you repeat this over and over again, you're able to find those contacts, bring them out of the system, and start engaging with them for the purposes of expanding the relationship and the business. And I think the final way that you can use this very simple workflow is by multi-threading. So as I said, it's important that you maximize the revenue of your existing customer base. And one of the surefire ways to do that is by not being single threaded, right? Not focusing on the contact that was handed to me by the new business sales rep that closed the deal that I'm now responsible for, but by finding additional individuals at these accounts that I can start building relationships with. So this allows me to really broaden the spectrum of contacts that I'm engaging with and start to establish new points of contact so that in the event that one of my points of contact does leave the organization, I'm not stuck high and dry trying to scramble to find additional folks to engage with. So with this, again, a simple workflow, you can start thinking about pipeline generation, you can think about multi-threading and expanding relationships uh, in both strength as well as pipeline. So I hope this video has been useful for you all. Looking forward to your future success.